Hey everyone, Nate, and we're back with more cryostasis sleep of reason. So we're gonna continue exploring this little ship, abandoned ship, to find out what the fuck is going on here. Whoa, another flashback. Dude, you need some help? Come on, let me help you, dude. Come on. Whoa! Okay, I guess you don't need my help. Don't come here, near you ice cold, you ice ninja. I'm a boxer, and I'll pick box. See? Eat this. Eat this. <laughs> Ragdolled. Uh, just like a hand move. Uh, ooh. Hey, that's interesting. So, different combos, you can be done with different types of movement keys. Interesting. Uh, yeah, like I said before, I love this game for doing this sort of interesting idea of. Oop. Hell? Is that the ghost? Is this, this, is this ship haunted now? Because that door didn't open by itself. Hey dude, you need help? I, I tried to help the last dude and he attacked me and I don't know, maybe you and I, we can like, you know, fix the door. Oh crap. Oh, freaking sailor. Come here. Whoa. They are ghosts. They can walk through things. These are ghost sailors. Fuck you, ghost sailor. I don't know. What, ow! What the fudge? Uh, right mouse to block, okay? Got that. Uh, let's warm up. You can raise your temperature, the exterior temperature level by pressing the arm up. Whoa! That fell apart. God, this ship is falling apart. What the hell is with these guys? Are, like, are they like ice zombies? Are they like spirits because he can walk through things? Maybe they are spirits. Maybe this is a ghost ship. Okay, you fucking ninja, come here. These, these guys are ninjas. He just popped up out of that ice block thing. You see, he jumps like a ninja too. Ow, you son of a bitch, eat this. Yeah, ragdoll. Dick. So, I guess maybe this ship was invaded, invaded by ghost ninjas or sailor zombies? Whoa, what happened here? This entire area got flooded, I guess. Ooh. Yep, we got flooded. We got flooded big time. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, we're good. Nobody's trying to kill me yet. Now don't forget to keep warm, finding various ways of... Oh yeah, like I said, warmth is your in-game in health thing. So the warmer you are, the more health you have. Man, what happened to this ship? Seriously, is this like that... Oh shit! God, more of you ninjas! Fuck you, ninja! Yeah, screw you, ninja! Where's your kung fu now, Naruto? Where is it? Yeah, fuck your jutsu. Let's get out of here. Uh, flashlight. Fuck your eyes. Yeah, crack your eyes. I'm a nice breaker. Huh. That's how awesome I am. Ooh. Oh, well, this is cre isn't creepy at all. Uh, you can save this man's life, press the right mouse button key to initiate your mental echo ability. It will let you into the past where you can correct his failed mistake. So we're like kind of like in that TV series. Yeah, I forget the name. Quantum Leap or something like that. The stairs, quickly. It won't hold much longer. That TV series Quantum Leap where you can like jump in the past of people and correct their mistakes or something like that. Run away, run away, run away, run away like a coward. Come on, dude, quick, 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 quick. Come on, whoa! Shit! That was, that was not good. Get up, come on, get up, get up. Why didn't you get up? You could have climbed up of there. Yep, I'm dead. Okay, that was stupid. You were unable to change this man's past in order to save him. Please try again. So, 
Is our guy has like ghosts with this like power Throw something? Throw the door and up the stairs quickly. It won't hold much longer. So is our character like has some sort of like psychic powers? Because that was like a big thing in the Soviet Russia. We were like looking for soldier with this bit of psych so like don't have those no psychic powers or something like that. So does our guy have like sort of special power that allows him to Ooh, that, was good. that allows him to survive to go to the past and correct mistakes or something like that? Out here. This way, quickly! I'll hold the door. Move it! Run. Come on! Come on, dude! Yay! We saved this guy! Woo! Success! You saved this, the dead man's soul and, and improve yourself a little. You have a dark road ahead of you where you will find many opportunities to help the unfortunate. Yeah, we're gonna be saving lives and getting to the past. Maybe we can even save. Ooh, maybe we can go into the past, make sure that. Can't never get shot. That'd be awesome. Ooh, way out. Hey! Yeah, this is our guy. And this is this forsaken ship. It has been frozen in time. And this is the captain, I'm guessing. Why are you looking so sad, buddy? What's wrong? Oh wait, he's not saying he's fought for my bad. Captain, the rod shows formation of sea ice all along our course. The rod, as in the divining rod? Another clairvoyant gadget of yours. Sir, clairvoyance is for shamans. This is cutting edge scientific equipment, virtually foolproof. He said knowing that this Do is Do you know true. why it is called the rod? Well, yeah, you had it, sir. Named after a divining rod, a stick used to search for water underground. Was real popular back in the days of wooden ships and navigating under the stars. Times change, but some things remain much the same. The ship must respect you. You must listen to her, understand her, talk to her, live with her one-on-one -on -one for many years. Then you become more than just a captain. You become a part of something bigger. That's great, but isn't it just pretty words? Sir, it seems to me all you've got to do is hold on to the wheel. When are you going to let me try, by the way? You don't waste any time, do you? Well, if you're keen, try this for now. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. You know, you know look, that's, that's the kind of captain I like. Well, he has humor. Right so let's go outside. Yes. To the secrets that's lying inside this forsaken, forgotten ship. And by the looks of it, it's frozen in time. Okay, sweet. We're uh, going to the next level, I guess. Was the whole, uh, actually, the, speaking of the whole uh, time jumping thing, apparently, from what I remember from this game, when it was first announced, there were some things that were apparently cut this game. That there was gonna be a lot more things to do with the time bending stuff, you know, but a lot of things got cut out in the ending version. So you know, apparently, the game was supposed to like have mul multiple endings and multiple ways you can you know change things in this reality, this time frame period, whatever, like how you would travel around and yeah. But a lot of things got cut out from this game apparently because the game was going kind of having like a budget problem or something like that. And the company, like I said, the company who made it, well, the company who made it uh, kind of went bankrupt in the end, which is a shame because I think it was, like I said, this is one of those games which is, has a really cool premise, a whole, a cool, a whole cool system of survival. Because, like I said, you need to, you see, you need to keep warm here. You're not just going to be picking up health packs 
Uh, junk like that. Whoa. Flashback. Oh, yeah, dude. Him. Him with a stick some more. Come on, keep hitting him. Oh, crap. You know, don't hit me. Get away from me, you stupid ninja. Ow, you foster. Come here. I took some boxing lessons. Yeah. How do you like that, comrade? I usually box my shadow. Douche. <clears throat> but yeah, like I was saying, I really love this game for its idea with the whole health system. Like, you need to keep warm constantly so you can fight better. Or you have more... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Or you have more health in a fashion. Okay, so not going up there. Oops. Ooh, new weapon. Cool. Hey, I can fight fast with this thing. Double cool. There's a lot of water down there, and I'm go not going there because I clearly will see the train. Oh, oh, yay, 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 yay. Zombie! This is a pure zombie! A drowner! Get away from me, you drowner. Go back to your... Go back to your waters, you demon. I punch at thee. Okay, come back here. Come back here and fight. Where is he? I saw him jump in the water. Coward. Yeah, that was cool. Any more ice? Whoa. The ice is breaking. That's not good. No bueno. Come here. Hey! Oh, no, 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 bad eyes, bad eyes. Heal up quickly. There we go. Hey! How the fuck did I fall? Shit. God, maybe I need, to, oh, God, maybe I need, I need to move faster, not stand around like an idiot. Uh, oh, crap, I'm far away. Okay, need, quick, mental note. Save often here. Wow, that was my first death, I think. So that was stupid of me. Any flashback? Come on, do you have a stick? Hit him some more. Hit this ninja. No, don't hit me. What? Ha! Ah. Yeah, your fancy new jitsu doesn't save you now, does it? Eat this! Take this, comrade! Yeah, that's what you get for a guy who boxes. Eh, awesome, because I box. Let's go for that drowning bastard. There he is. Yeah, fuck you too, buddy. Let's quick save here, so I don't have to go for that entire hell again. Didn't even fell into the waters. I didn't even heal myself. Oh crap! Calling ninja. Damn it, what just died, you stupid ninja? Okay, yeah, I think I'm okay. Oh, my health is shit now. I'm barely alive. But I'm okay. Sort of. Kinda. Not really, I'm fucked. Okay, another drowning guy. Let's see if I can save him. Let's see what's your story, dude. Okay. All the tanks are empty, I checked. If you're close to the lifeguard post, I see one out there in an uncovered boat. If you find it, bring it here. Just be careful. Hmm. He's somewhere in the boat. Okay, whoa, this is kind of creepy, actually, in a way. 
There's nothing, you know, there's no music here or anything like that. There's no musical cues, there's just the silence of us moving across on this boat. Actually, when you think about it, what the hell is that? Oh, it's one of these. Those jump tricks. They're coming for us. Oi! Stop throwing those things at me! Ah! Miss me! No, 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 throw that! You son of a bitch, come here now, come here! Come here and fight me! Okay, let's go, Keith! Yeah, fuck you, ow, you twit! Get me off my boat! My boat! Mine! I said. My boat. Get your own. And get your own air tanks too. How many of you drunk pricks are here? What are you guys anyway? Zombies, mutants, whatever. Get off my boat. Oh, that was a lot of frame rate jumping here. Well, I think we're finally it's finally over. Yes! We are alive! Woo! That was awesome! Hey, look, a picture. A little me. Danko was one of them. And he was young and handsome. Handsome people are always courageous. And he said to his comrades, Now we need to make it for this river of death. And there's the other side. Woohoo! We made it okay here. Okay, wow, the frame rate here is chugging like a fucking hell. I need to lower the graphics. I need to figure that maybe lowering the graphics will help somewhat. Yes, we're to the other side. Oh! Okay, let's quick save because I don't want to die. We go quick saved. Awesomeness. Up here, and see where this will take us. Open sesame. Captain, a difficult stretch ahead. Should we go around? <laughs> a difficult stretch, you say? <laughs> we'll manage. We can't afford to lose a whole day. We might lose a lot more if it's as bad as it looks. My crew has been through a lot worse than that. <laughs> and they can certainly manage that little patch of ice. <laughs> but sir, isn't it better to avoid difficulties altogether if we can? Are you suggesting I shouldn't have faith in my crew? It's not about trust, sir. It's about common sense. And do you think it makes common sense to navigate the Arctic for 20 years in a Can't row? Can't you see there is real danger up ahead? Are you losing your courage? Have you been testing your rod again? Don't you know it's not the rod, it's the dowser? Uh, just go to your cabin. You'll be safe there. 
This is insane. <coughs> Sorry again. So it seems the captain and the young guy are different a lot because the captain is more like about old waves, and the old the, the new dude is about oh you know technology blah blah blah. So I guess it's a sort of fight between technology and the old-fashioned ways of navigating a ship. Interesting, interesting story detail, I'd say. Shit! Oh crap, more of these drowned pricks. Hey, get away from my boat! You son of a bitch, that was my boat! That's not cool. Find a better source of warmth soon. That's a lot of ice here. But I don't like going down there, or that's for sure. Anything here? No junk. Oh, a button. What does this do? Oh, it turns out the generator is the one the place. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, dude. Let me warm up. Now we can fight. Yeah, you fuckers don't like it when it's warm, do you? Ah, uh -huh, you don't. Warm hurts you. Come here. Come here, let's talk. You and me. Come here, sailor. Hey, get back here. Get back here and fight, coward. Come on, face me like a man. Loser! Too cowardly to fight me, huh? I don't blame you. I have this thing in my hand. I actually like how- oh. I actually like how this game, when you warm up a room, the whole ice begins to froth away. And there's water all around, dripping all around the walls and everything. It's kind of pretty neatly done. How do we get there, though? No, no. Actually, what's my run time? Let me look, look quickly. Oh wow, I've been way too long with this one. So, uh, guys, I'll see you next time with more Cryostasis Sleep of Reason. And until then, bye bye.